Hey folks, in this video we're going to take a look at setting up your gradebook in Moodle. Uh, this can be, for many, sometimes a challenge because we all, or many of us do grade, our, set up our grading structure a little bit differently and we have certain things we really want to make sure come through. And it's also a challenge because we want to get it right because we know it can cause a lot of stress and a lot of angst in our students when, you know, grades show up and the calculations don't work and they're getting the wrong information or you have to readjust and fix something and what they thought were their grades are now not their grades. So first and foremost, thing you always want to do is go into grades. You're here in your grade book, uh, in your grade book, and what you want to do is come up here to where you see grader report, and scroll down to uh, grade book setup. Once you select that, you're going to see in this case there's a bunch of assignments that have already been put in here. If you notice, they're all weighted essentially. Uh, they all have different point values, and the course total is 900 points. So if you're doing a strictly point structure, uh, you can largely just create assignments and you know make them the appropriately appropriate amount of points. And by point structure, I mean everything has you know everything is a point value, and ultimately there is some large number of points. It could be 100, but sometimes it's a thousand. Or I've seen grade books that are like 762 points. I don't recommend those. Those are just confusing and challenging for students to make sense of. Uh, I do tend to recommend you want to do it on a you know, on something around, you know, a hundred base, uh, that is like a hundred or a thousand, uh, making sure it's easy for students to really understand what their, what they, what their grades are. Uh, but we're going to take a look at how to create a grade book using weights. Now, what do I mean by weights? Well, when you create assignments in your course, you sometimes have assignments that actually are frequent. It might be a weekly discussion. It might be a weekly check-in. Uh, you have other assignments that might have two or three steps to them. And, you know, rather than saying each weekly assignment is 10 points, uh, you might say, you know, weekly assignments are worth 20% of your grade. And you can have each of them scored on a hundred, kind of like these assignments are. They're based on, you know, to complete the assignment is a hundred points, but then those will be averaged together in weighted 20% of the total grade. So how are we going to set that up? Well, the first thing we actually want to do is create categories. Those are those weighted categories. So if we were looking at a grade distribution in a course, we might have something like this, where you know one set of activities is worth 20%, another is worth 30%, another 25. So we're gonna create a we're gonna create these categories in the gradebook, and then we're gonna see where we go from there. Alright, once here you go to add category, you pop in the name, and then under aggregation, this is how the gradebook understands what to make sense of this category in the, the assignments and grades in it. What we actually want to do is either simple weighted means of grade of grades or mean of grades. Simple weighted is is the situation where if you have 10 assignments, maybe it's your discussions, you know, you have eight discussions or 10 discussions in your course, they're all the exact same weight, then you probably want to select weighted means. This allows for all of them to be calculated to all of them weighted equally. Means of grades allows you to adjust based upon if something within that category is maybe a little bit worth more or less. So if you have an assignment that's broken into two or three parts, you know, the first part might be 10%, the second part might be 30%, the fourth part might be 60%. If that's that category of final assignment, then you might do mean of grades. In this case, we're going to just simply do, we're going to play around with this in each of them, uh, but for this one, we're going to do simple weight, uh, weighted mean of grades. When you do that under category total, and this might sometimes be uh, listed like that, you will actually want to come here to maximum grade. And this is the maximum grade for the category. Now, if we remember, these categories are percentages of the whole grade. In this case, this category is 20%. So if I go into gradebook, the maximum grade here really is 20%. And so what I'm telling the gradebook is to calculate the average of all those grades and then multiply it times 0 0.20 to figure out how much of that goes into the final grade. All right, that looks good. I'm going to hit save changes. Now, when we do this, we're going to see a couple different things show up. The first is all of a sudden our score went 
higher. And that seems strange, but it will make sense once we come back and actually change course total. We also notice, you know, that the numbers here start to move around a little bit. They're not as much as the other points and all of that. And then for some reason down here, we we see 20, but there's also this other number that's saying actually it's 2.174. Don't worry about this just yet. Create your categories. Go ahead and add another. So in this case, we're going to add this one, which is attendance and engagement. I'm going to pop it right in there, and it was worth 30% of their grade. So here again, I'm going to actually do mean of grades and pretend that there might be different assignments within here that are worth more or different. So I'm going to select mean of grades under parent category. I'm going to come here and put in that 30, right, because it's 30% of their grades. I'm going to save it. And now we've become 950. And again, these numbers have changed again. Don't worry about this. It will make sense in a moment. All right, I'm going to pause the video and add the next two categories just to save you time and not having to see, see me walk through it. So hold on. All right, we're back. Our scores are all over the place. It doesn't make sense. Uh, I know sometimes you might start like this is the point at which you're starting to get a little anxious. It's all OK. All right, so we have a bunch of these assignments, and now we have a bunch of these categories. And what we want to do is get these assignments into these categories. It's really simple to do. Over here on the right, you select the, assi the assignments that go into a particular category. I'm going to decide these three actually go into the first, the, the first category, which is personal learning plans. It's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to say, yes, leave the page and change it up. So now again, the numbers change once more, but when I come down to personal learning plans, these three assignments, they're indented. I'm being told they're part of this. And now, you know, I'm, it's starting to come into play. It's starting to come into uh, the way that it should be. I'm gonna choose a few more. I'm gonna pause the video and just again, sort these and come back in a moment. All right, I'm back and notice things are starting to look much more uh, appropriate. So. I have each of my categories, right? So personal learning plan, that's 20%. Notice this is 100. Everything is in its proper order. So really what we're looking to do here is ultimately create those categories, make sure that they average or they're the means of what the assignments are that are in them. Even if there's just one or two assignment, that's fine and making sure to use that maximum score. So let's look at that category again. So we ultimately want to use the, you know, identify what that bucket is, choose mean or simple means of grades. And then under the category, we want to, uh, in this case, it is, it's actually not a lot oops, because I didn't change up here. So we want mean of grades. And then down here, we can adjust the maximum grade for this category. It can be a little bit tricky, but that's what you're looking to do is in your categories, identify how much of that core, how much of the, that, the assignments in that category calculate to the top. And you'll know you've done it right because you've got 100 here and then your weights are the appropriate rates, weights for your category. So that's setting up the grade book. Um, what you can you can do this after you've created your assignments or you can do this before you've created your assignments uh, if you do it before you create your assignments then as you're creating a, uh, your assignments within the rest of Moodle you can actually designate them in the into the proper category uh, as you're creating them but you don't have to you can always come back and do it to kind of make sure everything is in its right place so I hope this is helpful. I hope this kind of clarifies how you can go about it. Uh, and of course, if you have questions, as always, feel free to reach out. Thank you.